I want to have a custom Lego accessories review from Citizen Brick. You might check out my other videos, click right up here, or links will be down below. These are a lot of their new tiles that they had released a couple weeks ago, along with some old ones. And they also had a new uh, minifig release. This is, uh, is like a promo minifig. If you spend over a certain amount, you get this minifig. There's a special thing about this minifig, so we're going to show it first. Along with their new stickers. Uh, this is the gold and silver one again. So now I have two of these, I believe. But you can never have enough stickers. So, you know, I like my stickers. So now to their Pumpkin Spice Enthusiast, I believe was the name of the figure. This minifigure has a special quality that not every single minifig has. Let me get it out. So this minifig, she does come with a Pumpkin Spice Latte. And this is printed on a uh, Lego uh, like coffee cup. So you can see the pumpkin right there on the front. So good accessory for this minifig. Uh, it does come with their new female neutral face in yellow. And you can see her lips, of course, makes it the female version. They have the male versions without the lipstick. She's got uh, red hair. And then coming onto her chest and torso, you can see she's wearing like a vest. So it has a white shirt underneath and then the um, like fall or autumn color leaves vest. No printing on the legs, nothing on the sides. Nothing on the other side. And then to the back is where the very special quality is. And this is the first minifigure I've ever seen like this. It is a scratch and sniff minifig. And yes, it does smell like a pumpkin spice latte. I've tested it <laughs> prior to the to the video. It smells 100% like pumpkin spice latte. And it's crazy that they got that to work. Um, I don't know if you keep scratching it, if the scent goes away or you'll scratch off the print. But as of right now, it works. I have yet to scratch it off as well. Um, but that is a very unique minifigure. I'm for sure going to keep it in the bag for storage purposes. But for the rest of the video, we'll leave her out. So an awesome free promo minifig. Now we're going to get to the tiles. So this one right here is their carpet tile pattern. And this one is perfect because it's uh, spooky season and we're on Halloween week as of this video. These tiles, if you don't know, are from the movie The Shining. It's the carpet in the hotel, the Overlook Hotel. I'm not going to take them out because you can see them, and there's a lot. Uh, you might see a picture later this week. But you can see how the tiles look. It's got red diamonds, um, like hexagonal shape. And they all connect perfectly, so to make this pattern right here. There's a little neutral minifigure right there as well. And it's off-lined right here. Um, but you can see how the tiles would connect. Nothing, oh, there's their normal stuff on the back, their normal spiel. But yeah, I'm going to leave these in there just because there's so many of the same, it's the same tile, pretty much. But you can see how they would align, possibly. So again, these are the shining carpet tiles. Now we're getting into the new tiles. There's a lot in here, as you can see. And we're just going to jump right into it. So some are new, some might be old, but I pretty much grabbed everything I didn't have. You can hear them just pouring out. So I'm just going to start grabbing them. Whatever comes up, comes up. So these three are, I believe these aren't new, but these are their locker tiles. So if you remember in school, if you had ever had a locker or a gym locker or anything like that, uh, you can see there are three different colors. Uh, orange, uh, light blue, and then red. So they're all the same printing, but different uh, colors. And these are on 2 by 4 smooth tiles. So we have some nice lockers. Um, thinking I should have gotten some more just for build purposes. Let me see if there's any more tiles. Nope, not like that. Um, I did get a couple uh, shooting targets. So again, these are on 2x4 smooth tiles. They're all the same, so here's just the one. This is very similar to their minifig that they had created, which was the silhouette target minifig. Um, other than having red in the center, I believe, it's pretty much similar print to them. has the numbers. Of course, center would be X or 10 points. And then it's a nice little minifigure. This is good for, like, uh, if you want to make, like, a range Lego mock or something like that. Get some target practice in with your minifigs. But I got three, so you can have, like, three lanes. Um, I got a bunch of different welcome mats. I think I got three. Let me check. Yep. So we got three different welcome mats. So first one is in tan, I believe. They're all tan, but they're just different shades of it. 
So this one's like a light tan or tannish. This one's darker tan. This one's like a beige or burnt orange or something. I don't know the exact colors. But you can see three different welcome mats. Kind of like the, um, you know, you wipe your feet before entering a house. So I got three of those. I like this one. This is Billy the Fish. So it's one of those, like, you know, singing fish on the walls. And it's a Lego fish. Has some extra detailing to it. Of course, a little Billy plaque. And then you can see the edges of how it would be on the wood. This is a 2x4 smooth tile as well. Most of the tiles are. But I like this one a lot. Uh, this is the uh, lost dog picture. I think there was a found dog too. Yep, okay. So there's the lost dog picture. Which is on a 2x2 two two smooth tile. You can see uh, you post these on boards or like um, light posts and stuff like that. You can say lost dog. People pull the tabs if they need your information on finding the dog. And then we have the found dog, which is weird that you would have a found dog unless you're saying this is the person who found it and they're saying take their information but same concept again you have the little pull tabs on the bottom picture of the dog uh, next ones are a few like random ones for like Lego houses got a couple outlets and light switches got two of each so first one is a one by two smooth tile and this is like an outlet for the wall you can see you got the two prongs in the bottom one and the little screw in the center. So I got two of those. And then we have a light switch tile. So this is again on a uh, one by two smooth. You can see the light switch can be on or off position. So you can have it on and have lighting coming in the room. Or you can have it off. But I got two of those as well. You can see the two screws in it as well which makes sense. Uh, an out of order sign which I like and this is on a yellow uh, 2 by 3 smooth tile pretty standard out of order sign black outlining to it you can angle them and everything like that next one are the same but I needed these because I plan on using these for a build these are two boombox speakers they're the same so they're a 2 by 4 smooth brown tile and they're printed with like the old speakers that you'd have your TVs or you can have them for stages. We can see smaller speaker and bigger speaker on bottom. Even screws in the corners so if you want to build off of it you can make them bigger. Um, I think this is the Lego Declaration of Independence. We the people. <laughs> I think Lego made one of these on a smaller one but this is on a 2x3 smooth tile. If you can see it there we go. We the people. It's got all the writing on there. It's kind of torn at the edges, which is nice. Uh, this one's our first sale sign. I wanted these. I think there's another one similar. Maybe I didn't grab it. Or it's for rent. I got the first sale sign. This is on a 2x2 two two smooth white tile printed on there, just like you'd get at a store, you know, for sale sign or for rent. It's got the white bar where you'd put your information on the bottom. Uh, we got a no parking sign. This is on a 2x3 smooth tile. Focus is, there we go. Uh, we have a live, laugh, love, which is old, I believe, like around Valentine's Day, but I didn't grab it. Now I grabbed it. This is on a 2x2 two two smooth tile. Uh, sorry, we're closed, and I got a come in, we're open signs. These are both on 2 by 3 smooth uh, white tiles. These are pretty standard for like a lot of diners and stuff like that. You can use them for the range, which I plan to do with the targets. Uh, I got, uh, got a mouse trap, which I don't think I had. See a little cheese on there. Of course, the trap would swing open once the mouse gets the cheese or whatever critter you're trapping. And this is on a 1 by 2 smooth tile. A little bit of like shine to the print, which is nice. Gives it that metallic look or metal look. 
Um, I think these are the same. Nope, so I got a caution radioactive and caution biohazard. I believe the biohazard is misspelled. So it's technically a misprint. I think there's only one Z in hazard. So I think it was an accidental on their part. But these are cool. I you know I like the biohazard. Goes with kind of like zombies, radioactive, good fallout stuff. Those are on two by two smooth yellow tiles. Uh, a little home sweet home sign, kind of with like stitching around it. This is on a two by two smooth tile. Uh, we got a help wanted sign. This is on a two by three smooth tile. This goes with my kind of open and close signs. Got a menu board. This one does have tacos, beer, more tacos, and more beer on the menu. This is on a 2x3 smooth tile, so you can see right there, tacos, beer, more tacos, more beer. They have a lot of selections, which is good. Big menu. Really, if you got two of these, you could pitch them and have it like, like a, you could have like a food truck with these. But I like the menu. Uh, here is a Fallout Shelter one. It's on a 2x3 smooth tile. You can see Fallout Shelter, so this will go with the radioactive one. I got some raffle tickets. I think I got three of them. Yep. I'm curious if the numbers are different. 037, 037. Nope. That would be pretty nifty, though, to have different numbers on every single one. That would probably be very tedious to do. But I got three raffle tickets. Just because you can't really have one raffle ticket, it would be weird. But here's one of them. It's on a 2 by one smooth tile. And you can see the little edges, just like a ticket you'd get for playing arcade games or anything like that. Or in a raffle, you know. At sporting events, you can get raffle 50-50, stuff like that. So three tickets. Got a cracked phone, which is very similar to the iPhone. You know how, much, how many times people break their phone screens and all that. You can see the little home button right there, speaker and camera up top. Cracked screen. That's on a smooth uh, 1x2 tile. I think I got, oh no, I didn't, I thought they may have had a regular phone. Got an alarm clock, it has midnight or noon, whichever you want. Two by one smooth. Got a restroom with men's and females, or males and females. On a two by two smooth dial, so I can, I can use this for restrooms, stuff like that. We got decent pizza, which I don't know if it came with minifigures in the past, but wanted to get more of these. Just because, again, you can go with restaurant style. You can see it's on a 2x2, two two, so it would be a good pizza box. If you put a 2x2 um, uh, two two flat brick under here, it gives the box a little bit of thickness. Then it looks like a full pizza box. Got a quarantine zone sign. This one, will, again, will go with the um, hazardous stuff like that, radioactive. You can see the logo right there, zombies. It's on a 2x2. Two two. No smoking sign. It's on a 2x2 two two as well. Bingo. Should have got more bingo sheets. I'm curious if the numbers are the same, which I'm assuming they are. So pretty much if you get the same numbers as somebody else, you're going to win. But B69. We got the <laughs> free spot. And then last but not least, we have a Lego Passport. And it does say United States of America... It does clearly read Passport on it as well. Cover all the tiles up. There we go. And it has that nice gold printing on the dark blue 1x2. So a lot of cool, fun tiles to use for future builds and stuff like that. Um, I'll try to put all links down below. It's going to be a lot of links, so be sure to check all those out. Like I said... I plan to use these for a build upcoming soon, so be sure to check that out. Super awesome that they were able to do a scratch and sniff minifig. That is insane, and like I said, I think they're the first person to ever do that. So props to them, it worked perfectly. And like I said, I don't know how long the scent lasts or the scratch and sniff will last, like the scratching will last on the print. So that's why I'm going to keep it in the baggie when I store it. Other than that, it's a fun little promo minifig, and I'm super happy they did it. If you want to check out my other Citizen Brick videos, you can click right up here or links will be down below. Be sure to check out um, 
all the links down here for these because there's a lot of them, like I said. Uh, be sure to leave a like if you have another video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching.